It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. This video has been inspired by a series of events on Twitter between Latinos and black people, where many black people on Twitter seem to argue that the word gringo is the same thing as the racial slur against black people in the United States. Why Latinos shouldn't call black people gringo a thread. Coming from a Mexican person, read the whole thing please. First, let's start with the origin of gringo. Gringo was first created during the Mexican-American War. It was used to spite the white Americans at the time. Now, Latinos shouldn't call black people gringo. Calling a black person gringo is essentially calling them the N-word. It doesn't matter if you meant it like that or not. That is how it's being interpreted. It's also whitewashes black people because of the origin. This whole entire back and forth about gringo between the black people and the Latinos has gotten to a point where somebody tried to reveal the IP address of somebody else and where they live, which is not cool. No matter how much you disagree with somebody over a word, it is not worth trying to dox somebody or, you know, share their IP just because you disagree with their own personal ideas and stances. So for this video, I'm just going to go into more details about the origins of Gringo because it seems as though that a lot of people on social media have the type of wrong interpretation when it comes down to this word. Now the earliest records of the word Gringo did not come from any sort of Latin American country, but rather Spain. As early as like 1787, the word gringo originally referred to any kind of foreigner. It was first recorded in 1787 in the Spanish Diccionario of Castellano con las Voces de Silencias y Artes, basically the Castilian Dictionary with the Voices of Arts and Sciences. Gringo is what in Megala called foreigners who have a certain type of accent that prevents them from speaking Castilian easily and naturally. And in Madrid, they give the same name and for the same reason, in particular to the Irish. The most likely theory is that it originates from Greco, Greek, used in the same way as the English phrase is all Greek to me. Spanish is known to have used Greek as a stand-in for incomprehensibility, though less common, such as the phrase hablar in Greco, to speak in Greek. So as you guys can see, the word Greco or Greek was used as a substitute to say something that is foreign outside of the country that they cannot possibly understand. So if somebody spoke in Spanish but with an accent, it's all Greek to them. And so any sort of thing that is, you know, foreign outside of Spain meant it was Greek in those days. There has been like a lot of theories that have not been confirmed either way on how Gringo came to be. Mostly from the Mexican-American War. They're not conformed right away, but uh, it's worth talking about them. Gringo is the result of American troops singing songs that began with Green Grills and Green Grills the Rushes. Another theory involved locals yelling Green Go Home at an invasion American soldiers, sometimes in conflicts, other than the American-Mexican War in reference to their supposed green uniforms. Now, Merriam-Webster has defined gringo as a foreigner in Spain or Latin America, especially of English or American origin, broadly a non-Hispanic person. However, that definition doesn't give you guys the insights about what it really means to, of course, to be a gringo in Latin America. Now, there has been at least seven different definitions as defined by the Real Academia Española which more or less is like the Merriam-Webster of the Spanish language. And so one by one, let's check out the definitions as defined by the RAE. So the first definition is a stranger, especially one that speaks English and generally one that speaks a language that is not Spanish. So more or less, it's basically referring to the original Greek definition as defined by Spain back in the 1700s. It's also used as an adjective to refer to a foreign language. Now, the most common definition so far is the one that's been used in, of course, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Cuba, Ecuador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, and Venezuela, and also in Mexico, more or less is a resident that is from the United States. 
Now, the definition that is used in Uruguay is also a person that is from England and also from Russia. And of course, the second to last definition is a person who has white skin and is also blonde. This definition is used in Bolivia, Honduras, Nicaragua, and also uh, Peru. And finally, it refers to an unintelligible language. Yet again, the original definition, the word that came from Spain. What is interesting about Brazil is particular because the word gringo is different than the Spanish-speaking countries, whereas any sort of person is referred to a gringo who is not from Brazil. So if you're American or Mexican or Cuban or from England or whatever part of the world, to them, you're actually a gringo, no matter where you come from. Another possibility on why people use the word gringo in Latin American countries in comparison to what we do here is also a question of education. Mostly because in the United States, we're not taught that America is a single continent, whereas Latin American countries do teach that. They are taught that America is more or less a reference to Canada, to the United States, to Mexico, and the rest of the Latin American countries. Meanwhile, we are taught that America, more or less, is a short way of saying United States of America. And so whenever we say America, we refer to United States. And also not to mention that to refer to the other countries below us, we just say the Americas and that's it. And so Latin Americans are taught that the whole entire American continent consists of everybody, whereas we are taught that it's like North America, Central America, and South America. And so because the courts think that everybody are Americans, they refer to us as gringo because of that reason too. Now the main reason why I think that is because we were literally the first and the only country so far in the Americas that have America as part of the official title of its official name. Because back then, a lot of the modern day Latin American countries that we know so far had been underneath, of course, New Spain. And so they were actually, of course, part of the whole entire, you know, colonization process that was also taking place in that time period from Spain. So because Latin Americans are taught that the whole entire Americas contains the whole American continent that refers to, you know, United States and Canada, Mexico, etc. They feel that everybody, at least some of them feel like everybody, is part of one American continent and therefore everybody must be Americans. And so when they talk about gringos, they refer to us, no matter their race or gender or skin color, because ultimately that's their whole entire informal slang to refer to us. But as far as it being racist or not racist, it kind of, you know, depends on the context, I guess. What I'm trying to say here. Mostly because if somebody were to say, like, fucking gringo or whatever, I guess that could be like a form of, you know, intolerance. But as far as just using gringo itself, it's not necessarily racist per se. But what do you guys think about this word? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.